Welcome to our channel, Techno Universe. Elon Musk just revealed a new nuclear reactor. Can you imagine what is going to happen next? Do you want to know the details about this amazing nuclear reactor? Stay tuned and do not skip the video as we are going to tell you all about it. Nuclear power is used to generate power fuel energy, but there are some precautions linked to nuclear reactors as they are very dangerous and heavy. Elon Musk is building a portable nuclear power generator. This particular power generator is a lightweight and cost-effective micro-reactor. So, let's get into the details. SpaceX engineers have created the world's first portable zero-emissions power source that can be quickly installed in cities and bring power to remote areas. According to a former SpaceX engineer, Bernard, who worked on developing energy sources for a Mars colony, micro-reactors offer the most promising supply of power to establishments on Mars. He mentions that there was an immediate opportunity to use this technology on Earth, which led to the creation of Radiant with two other SpaceX colleagues. Previously, SpaceX has built some gigantic machines. Former engineers working at the company has formed Radiant, which is a new startup that promises space-grade micro-nuclear reactors that will revolutionize portable sustainable energy. Radiant received two provisional patents for its portable nuclear reactor technology last year, out of which one patent covered the cost and time of refueling their reactor, while the other addressed heat transfer efficiency from the core of the reactor. Some experts suggest that fusion is a safer way to generate nuclear energy because fission produces long-lasting radioactive waste. On the other hand, fusion does not produce this radioactive waste. But the tricky part is that fusion consumes all of its energy to sustain its reaction and leaves no energy for other things to be powered. So far, fusion has not been possible to be commercialized. Radiant announced last month that it has raised $1.2 million in angel investments to create a mobile power generation system. Nuclear reactors designed by Radiant use helium instead of water to cool. This reduces corrosion, boiling, and contamination risk, which are very dangerous. These reactors will use particle fuel that does not melt. According to Radiant, this technology can handle higher temperatures than traditional nuclear fuels, which are a big improvement. The company is also working on newer ways to refuel the reactors and efficiently transport heat out of the reactor core. The micro-reactor will use an advanced particle fuel that will not melt down and will be able to withstand higher temperatures than traditional nuclear fuels. A positive side of helium coolants is that it reduces corrosion and contamination risk that are present in traditional water cooling systems. Radiant Company has signed a major contract with Battle Energy Alliance to test its portable micro-reactors at the Idaho National Laboratory. In 2021, INL selected an Oklo micro-reactor to receive high-assay, low-enriched uranium fuel from the lab that supported a first-of-its-kind demonstration of Oklo's Aurora micro-reactor. Radiant is also determined to work with the National Reactor Innovation Center, or NRIC, to test its portable nuclear micro -reactor reactor at Idaho National Laboratory. Dr. Ashley Fennin, director of NRIC at INL, said, As part of our mission to empower innovators, we strive to deliver successful outcomes. This is an opportunity to innovate in ways that bring a cleaner energy future. You would be glad to know that besides the actual use of micro-reactors, they are used to expand distributed power generation. They are part of a trend to provide electricity to remote areas, military bases, and commercial operations that lack access to grid power. According to Bernard, cost optimization is a reduced power peaking factor of our design, noting the micro-reactor's portability provides freedom and optimization, and one of the benefits of the portable system is that it's so small we can autonomously operate it. Radiant mentions that its micro-reactor can power 1,000 homes continuously for 8 years. They are light enough to be transported by air, ship, and road because it is designed to fit in a shipping container. The company also claims that its micro-reactors are safer than traditional traditional nuclear power plant designs. They are leveraging particle fuel that would withstand high temperatures and does not melt down. Additionally, the use of helium coolants greatly reduces corrosion, boiling, and contamination risk associated with water coolants. In the case of most water-cooled reactors, nuclear fuel is cooled by water which is then turned to steam that drives a turbine that creates electricity. It also acts as an effective absorber blocking neutron radiation from leaking out of the reactor. But the most 
important part is that the fuel they use requires neutrons to be slowed down to create a chain reaction, so these reactors can't get too hot. They achieve this by packing moderator material within the reactor that takes energy out of the neutrons, which is a combination of heavy water and graphite. But the requirements for these reactors are huge coolers with plenty of moderator material and extensive cooling systems access to lots of water. These giant reservoirs of water around the reactor make these reactors very large in size. But as you know, water cooling is only effective for low temperature reactors. In case you want the core to exceed 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, then you need to switch to gas cooling. We know that helium is very stable, inert, and non-flammable and has a very high thermal conductivity. This makes it an ideal candidate to use as a reactor coolant. So instead of water turning to steam and powering a turbine, helium is blown over the reactor to heat it up so it expands which pushes it through a high-speed turbine, making electricity. Later, helium is recycled at a high-power refrigerator which cools the helium and it then re-enters the reactor. Besides this, there is another type of fast reactor using fission. These reactors use nuclear fuel which can use fast neutrons and do not need any moderator material which makes them much more compact but this reactor run at much higher temperatures of 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Interestingly, these fuels have an advantage over their uranium-235 counterparts. They can breed more fuel. This means that the high temperatures that fuel such as thorium-232 can absorb neutrons and transform into uranium-233, which has far less radioactive waste than 235. So the positive side is that the longer the reactor is active, the more these fuels can breed and transform into more usable nuclear fuel. There are many other options for fuels. Some considerations for fuel are thorium and plutonium. The company Radiant can use either of them in their reactor. In the current era, there is a high demand for micro and modular reactors on Earth. This is the reason that Radiant will have plenty of customers. This means that they will be able to generate money to develop their reactors. This will also give them a competitive advantage that they can capitalize on in the market. This also gives them a huge advantage in the competition for space reactors such as Rolls-Royce and Boeing. The company Radiant's reactors could also power lunar and Martian bases or complex space infrastructure such as sky hooks or orbiting zero-g pharmaceutical factories. We have made our speculations and shared with our viewers the details of the technology inside the reactors. There are many other amazing developments under Musk and Radiant's radar. This would revolutionize portable energy and have its effects on the domestic energy sector as well. We know that attaining a clean, modular, and compact nuclear reactor is the key to unlocking our carbon-neutral future. We are all waiting in anticipation for the next move in nuclear reactors. So, that is all for today. Hope you learned something new today and wish to stay updated with all the revolutions around the world. If you would like to receive more updates about tech-related news, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Do let us know your thoughts about the nuclear power generator and its effect on our world. Will Elon Musk be able to complete his mission? What are your views on this? Don't forget to share in the comments section. Thank you for watching.